Well, well, well. It looks like Mr. PC feminist Justin Trudeau, virtue signaler in chief in Canada, has a lot of explain to do. Has a little bit of hypocrisy in his history, in his background, that now is finally having a little bit of light shed upon it. And you know what? I could go one way and use a Breitbart article with a headline such as, Justin Trudeau accused of groping reporter in 2000. But hey, you know what? just to make it even more interesting, let's use a BuzzFeed, you know, a very leftist oriented news organization that also reported on this particular topic, on this particular story. With a headline of, Justin Trudeau was accused of groping a reporter at a music festival in 2000. The incident allegedly took place when Trudeau was 28. The Prime Minister's press secretary told BuzzFeed News he doesn't recall any negative interactions. This is being reported by Ishmael N. Darrow, a BuzzFeed News reporter, June 7, 2018. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love, man. Like I say, this is the hilarious part, and I love pointing out the hypocrisy. Oh, it's one of the things I enjoy so much. Because these fucking dipshits, like people like fucking Trudeau, oh, man. Like I said, to be a politician today is to be a professional liar, right? Basically, that might as well be the very definition of a politician is a professional liar. And I mean, the fact that he has some acting skills and experience, right? And he could pull out his little tears. Oh, I feel so sorry for the aboriginal people that are oppressed. Oh, and I'm standing up for women and gender equality. Oh, really? Really, hey, Trudeau? Really? Well, well what, what happened here? What, would you have a lapse that day? Or did your true colors shine through? What is it? I mean, come on. Based on not just your own history, but uh, the history of, uh, of your family, I would say, <laughs> yeah. Respect for women? Hmm. A little bit of a head scratcher. Maybe you're just a decent actor who seems to fit right in with this particular role because you like to play those political games and because you actually think that everyone will fall for your bullshit hook, line, sinker just because of what? Your last name? Or what? You got shiny fucking hair? Or what? I don't know. I guess some women. I don't know who these women are because I've talked to quite a few women. It's like, well, no, not necessarily. Um, but apparently he thinks that he's like like this, this uh, I don't know, this bowl of choice for the ladies. I don't know. Have you seen the man? Well, you seen when he, when he had his shirt off, right? When he was uh, you know getting ready for the Brazil fight. To be honest with you, his upper body kind of looks like a prepubescent teen, but, oh, hey, maybe some ladies like that kind of body style, that figure, right? <laughs> Although I will admit, most women that I've met in my life, including my wife, include most women that I've ever dated in the past, they like a big, strong, strapping man. It's got some real pecs, right? Kind of like that alpha male type body. But, hey, 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 anyways, let's get away from that. It's... Trudeau can't help. That's his That's his biology. Can't hate on the man for his biology. You can feel sorry for him for his biology, but there's nothing you can do really do about that. So he seems to like it though, right? Whatever. Anyways, let's get down to reading this article and just see what kind of revelations come to light. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, a self-described feminist who has made combating sexual harassment and sexual assault a centerpiece of his political image was accused of groping a young woman reporter at a music festival almost two decades ago the allegation was first published in an editorial in the creston valley advance a community newspaper in british columbia in august 2000 it has periodically resurfaced online including in frank magazine earlier this year the allegation came to wider attention this week when photos of the editorial were widely shared on social media and received further prominence when Breitbart reported it on Thursday. In a statement to BuzzFeed News, the Prime Minister's press secretary, Matt Pascuzzo, said Trudeau has always treated women with respect and that he doesn't think he had any negative interactions while in Creston. BuzzFeed News obtained a copy of the newspaper editorial from the archives of the Creston Museum. In the editorial, 
Trudeau was accused of groping the newspaper's reporter during a music festival sponsored by a beer company. According to the editorial, Trudeau was said to have apologized for inappropriately handling the woman after he realized she was a reporter. I'm sorry. If I had known you were reporting for a national paper, I never would have been so forward, the advance editorial quotes. Trudeau is telling the reporter afterward. Trudeau was 28 years old at the time of the alleged incident, although he was not then a public figure. He was still famous as the son of former Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau. Shouldn't the son of a former Prime Minister be aware of the rights and wrongs that go along with public socializing? Didn't he learn through his vast experience in public life that groping a strange young woman isn't in the handbook of proper etiquette? Regardless of who she is, what her business is, or where they are, the editorial said, BuzzFeed News contacted the woman reporter who covered Trudeau's visit to the festival but did not immediately receive a reply. Efforts to contact the paper's then-editor were not successful. Trudeau's first major moment in the public spotlight as an adult came just a few months later in October 2000 when he delivered a eulogy at his father's televised state funeral. He subsequently followed his father into politics, becoming active with the Liberal Party of Canada and eventually running for and winning a seat in Parliament in 2008. Since becoming Prime Minister in 2015, Trudeau has championed women's rights and takes a zero-tolerance stance on sexual misconduct, suspending multiple members of his party from caucus after they were accused of sexual harassment. In an interview with CBC News earlier this year, Trudeau was asked whether any women might accuse him of similar behavior. I don't think so, Trudeau said. I've been very, very careful all my life to be thoughtful and to be respectful of people's space and people's headspace as well. He also said, politicians responsible for their actions no matter how long ago anyways i'll post a link to this article in the description of the video below but i just wanted to point out even though it's just one example and be honest with you i don't even give a shit whether it's true or not i just i just love the fact that there's obviously some hypocrisy on display here especially when you look at this this last bit of this particular quote he also said politicians were responsible for their actions no matter how long ago so well stand up right you know, be principled, you know, admit your wrongdoing and apologize, you know, do a little tear, Trudeau, cry a tear, a couple alligator tears, don't worry, you know, your cult like fallen, don't worry, they'll probably forgive you, although the rest of us will always and continually recognize that, hey, look, look, look at the guy, look at Mr. Feminist, ah, I guess you're not such a principled person after all, I guess you're fallible just like the rest of us, right? Except the big difference here is you're now, you know, in some pretense of authority where you get to talk down upon the rest of us and pretend that you're holier than thou. Well, this is the age of information, folks. You know, there's a lot of information out there. So be, good luck with doing this kind of stuff. And not just to Trudeau, but the rest of you out there. Watch out. Your history might creep up on you someday and bite you fair and square right in your ass. It's a Canadian Libertarian. And I love liberty.